Welcome back to Gloomwood. It's been a little while since I played this game. Uh, so, as a result, I'm starting a new game. Um, there's been a new update, the Hive update. In fact, there was another update a little while before that, the Underport. I haven't checked either of those out. So we have a lot of new content to get to. Uh, but for now, new file. Um, let's just start over, refamiliarize ourselves with this game, um, and have some fun in the earlier areas. Let's do it. I mean, I assume I've tweaked this before and it's good. <laughs> the thing is, this game is so... Moon on the left? What do you mean the moon on the left? Ain't no moon on the left. I hope this is good enough. Here's the thing. This game is very dark. Um, and however dark it is for me, it's darker for you on Twitch and YouTube. Um, so I need to maybe make this game a little bit brighter. Hopefully that's good, though. Installing Path of Exile 2, it's 87 gugs. 87 giga. Uh, damn. I would like to play that game, I think. Um, it's free. There's no real reason for me not to try. Um, but I, I bounced off of Path of Exile 1. I'm pretty sure I got to the point at which I could, like, start making my build, and I just saw how much there was, and I was like, fuck that. <laughs> Hello. We are here. It'll be a good point to jump in. I hope so, yeah. Let me out! Let me out! Can I prop fly? Ah, oh, good doctor. What an unfortunate <laughs> predicament you found yourself in. Predicament. Kidnapped and brought here of all places. <laughs> well, if you listen to me, you may yet survive. That's the volume. Here. This ring should help you stay out. The, the ring. ring! You have many enemies here. Volume's fine, okay. The gloom stream! We're glue. Yeah, we gloomin'. Poland simulator, but I remember that's Darkwood, not Gloomwood. I've never played Darkwood, but I've heard good things. Fish. My gamma's so low? Dude, I don't- I don't understand how. I tur I cranked it way up. Uh, where is that? Video? Wait, actually, where is it? Is it gameplay? Oh, here it is. It's got its own thing. I can crank it up even more. But at some point, it gets, like, too bright for me. Do-do-do-do. Can I go out? There's brightness. Yeah, I know there's brightness, too, but, like... Yeah, okay, we can go up. I mean, I can see fine. The problem is, uh... That it looks dark for you, because of Twitch compression. Hold left shift to sneak. I got that shit mapped to left control, I think. Run two game instances with the same inputs, just one brighter than the other. I wonder if that would work. <laughs> like, theoretically it would work, right? But... Hello? Oh, right. Hold. Give me my stuff. Oh, enemy AI. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the enemy AI is probably not hey, deterministic. Doc, they put your fancy sword and things in the room back there. 
back there. If the rats haven't gotten to it. <laughs> Why is that guy friendly? Steal the key off the guard, that's right. Let me at him. Do 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 nothing to see here, sir. Is that not what the uh I guess that's not what the key is to. Dude, it's been so long I actually can't remember. It's like playing the game for the first time again. That's the power room. No, 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 no. Give me that. Alright, we have a weapon. God, God. Oh, I see. Left shift does actually slow you down. Can you sprint in this game, or... Am I misremembering that? Got a map. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Hobbs lost the crank to the power generator. Said a spine eel came right up and took it off him. Tried to wrestle it from its jaws. What the fuck? Oh yeah, holstering your weapon. That's right. I, that's what does it. Thanks, buddy. Let's put you right there. Never be found. And a quick save for the boys. Cannot get up there yet. This is a very loud room. Yeah, I, when I was, uh, when I was in Arizona... My sister told me a term I had never heard. Like, we were in, like, a bar or something. And, uh... So someone outside of the bar was clearly smoking weed. And she goes, it smells loud in here. And I just was like, what? <laughs> I kind of like that, though. I'll probably start using that. Okay, this was the guy we killed. Let's get some beans. Uh. Never smelled noises. Everyone in chat has synesthesia but me. You're all on mushrooms. Or something. Is there anything else worth a damn in here? Isn't loud also slang for weed? I've never, I've never heard that. But maybe. Maybe she's right. Okay, we don't want to go in there. Holster my shit. If that's the case, then Maine is super loud. Hmm. Uh, is that where you is that where you live? Cause I got family in Maine. I like Maine. Open up. Constantly smells like weed in public. Damn. Uh, let's get some bottles. Always good to have some bottles. Crabs. Straight up holstering my shit. Being safe as fuck, man. I'm a professional. <laughs> See, and then I went in here anyways. I know there's nothing in here, though. It's like a shaft that falls down from above. Lobster. Um, I actually don't remember where this button is. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Want to go to Maine for the crabs and lobster? Yeah, I had lobster in Maine. And I think I might just not really like lobster. Because I was, I was kind of disappointed. Like, it wasn't bad. I just was like, eh.
I don't really like the texture of it. Oh, fuck. I'm dead, bro. I'm dead as fuck, bro. No, I lived. I lived, bitch. Oh, fuck. Did that guy see me? <laughs> Shit. This is... We're in a bad state. Wait, where do I... How do I check my health again? Journal. Danger. Oh! <laughs> See ya! Alright, time to eat some beans. Oh, I can't eat these? I can eat cheese. Gorge. We're still danger. <laughs> you got shot point blank twice and survived? Yes, sir. Constructed alternatively. That's me, just built way differently. I feel like I'm rebelling against Big Lobster. What the fuck? Don't do it! Up, 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 up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was like, I'll just, I'll circle strafe him. <laughs> it actually worked the first time. I think I maybe just need to be closer to him. Being American really does give minus 30% bullet damage. It didn't work for the United Healthcare guy. Okay, he's on his way down, or up rather. I have not had an oyster. I know you didn't ask me, but I answered anyways. I like shrimp. I know that that's like not a crazy out there seafood to enjoy. But shrimp is fucking good. I also just kind of like white fish. I'm very pl I love seafood, but I'm very plain when it comes to... Oh. They don't like his stench. I was like, where are these guys? I'm also very plain when it comes to uh to seafood. I'm like white fish and shrimp. <laughs> I could do like scallops. Scallops are good. If they're cooked right. Canned tuna may as well just be its own fucking thing. Come with me, and you will see. B? It's been a while. Into the pit. Into the corpse pit. <laughs> if the United Healthcare guy had a cane sword, he would have survived. You're probably right. Bro didn't keep that motherfucking thing on him. Pick it up. What's this? That's oh, health? Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. It's it's already here. No, you didn't. You didn't hear anything. Oh, dude. It's time for a drop assassination. Come on in. <laughs> oh, into the corpse. You gotta go into the corpse pit. Right, I almost forgot. Oh. It's very important that we put you in the pit. I thought that syringe was a fidget spinner. I keep that motherfucking thing on me.
My, uh... <laughs> I kid you not. My wife used to work at a company that, uh... I was gonna say sold fidget spinners. They didn't really sell fidget spinners. They more just like listed them on Amazon. But she was able to get one at like a discount. I don't think I would have purchased one myself. I like how there's not a button like when you're up here. Okay. That was the first fidget spinner I've seen in like five years. Yeah, it sits on my desk, but truth be told, I do not. I do not touch it. <laughs> I also have a, uh, like a fidget cube. I like this better. I don't touch this very often either, but it's kind of satisfying here. If I put it up to the mic, maybe you can hear. Makes nice noises. It's just like little buttons and switches and stuff that you can fiddle around with. Just maybe go save. Do, 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 do. I have like a bad feeling that there's still a guy chasing after me. He ran like a long way to get to me. And I'm kind of worried he's just going to pop out at any given moment. Oh yeah. Also, probably a good time to take one of these. We need a D&D viable fidget cube. Uh, are you talking like a fidget D6? Like, you can fidget with it, but it's also, like, properly weighted, and you can roll it. <laughs> the fidget D20 would be crazy. Let's see. Up. Up the stairs. Okay, I do re remember the trick for this one. Oh, I thought that said 303. You seen the bullet dice? I'm not sure I have. We got the motherfucking blicky records. Am I, am I able to like read you? Guess not. I have a can of spray paint on my desk that I like to shake around because I like the noise. Yeah, what else do you like to do with the spray paint? <laughs> Spray paint is kind of a funny thing to just randomly have at your desk. I can't even lie. Consider this my last will and confession. I did everything she asked of me. When she wanted a seat on the Mercantile Council, I delivered. When she wanted some unsavory figure removed and discarded quickly, I quietly, I provided. Now all hell has broken loose and I have yokel mercenaries besieging the factory floor. I only have line workers and sailors here, not soldiers. I haven't even fired that damn revolver in my safe. Ah. That's why he keeps it in there. He does not keep that motherfucking thing on- on him. Not... close enough, at least. Kept my end of the bargain. Years of empty promises. Was I really this blind all along? Curse you, Sylvia. May this rotten town take you with it. Well, we'd like to avoid using the pistol to whatever extent we can. Health is caution. That's locked. Interesting. Oh, uh, did bro... Yeah. I don't know how I'd never, like, put that together. He tried to be an hero. Oh, you know what I can do to this guy, actually? Holster me weapon. They're gonna hear that. Super secret ending where you jump through the noose and die. You lied to me. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa,
Oh shit. The ghoulish chaps are after you? Yeah, clearly. Oh my god, there's so many of them up there. There's one like right above me too, I think. Dude, what the fuck? Ah, where'd he go? Nobody saw me. What? What? And then he fucking greedied on my corpse, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, how far back did I go? This is before I have the pistol, for sure. <laughs> oh well, at least the pistol's pretty easy to get. How's our corpse pile looking? Okay, we got two guys down there. That's- that's better than... Better than nothing. He thought this was Fortnite? Dude, I'm playing Gloomwood, they're playing Fortnite. All right, well, I will try not to alert the horde this time. Reload me. One shot. I have two bullets in there. Is that it? Okay. You know what I could do is I could turn out the lights. I could get their attention. And then I could set an ambush. The thing is, though, dude, they all came running. What? Come down. I hit the wrong button. Are they even coming in this time? I feel like they're not. Imagine playing a stealth game from the perspective of the enemies. Dude, I had that idea um, for a game once. Not necessarily a stealth game, but just like a game where you like play the enemy. Um, and then I had the idea to make it like a roguelike. Oh, fuck. So you could like choose some of the... Uh, vault it! So you could choose like some of the enemy's behavior. Um, and the, the goal would be to kill, to kill, like, the player one time. But they would have all sorts of powers and abilities and stuff. <laughs> Guess that's just a detective game, isn't it? Kinda, yeah. Shadows of Doubt or something. Deathloop? It's kinda true. Although, you have lots of powers yourself in Deathloop as well. Oh, fuck. Wait, can I get him through the window? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes... I feel like... Did they make the noises, like... Did they make the enemies respond to noises more? Because I feel like I don't remember them being, like, so responsive to, like, footsteps and stuff in the past. Like, it's cool. I just don't remember it being that way. Hopefully I remember the safe combination. Oh, fuck off. But yeah, no, my idea was more like you play as like a just like a shitter enemy in like a FPS game. Like imagine like being one of the enemies in Trepang 2 or something. Like that was uh that was my idea essentially was like 
that you're like just a fodder enemy and you have to like somehow kill the uh the protagonist would it be fun no <laughs> but it'd be interesting I mean, I guess maybe the real challenge would be finding a way to make it fun. Dude, why the fuck is that so loud? We making noise. Yeah, this game is, uh, it has really strong art direction. This is the thing, I come out here, and I drop. What if I put the barrel down? No one heard that, I think. Oh wait. Here's what we do. Get one of these out. No, no, no pick it up. How, how do I hold it in my hand? I can't remember. I have to like, uh, hold F, okay. Just you? I wanted more people to investigate that. <laughs> no! It didn't get him! Just walk into the fire! Okay, I gotta stop fooling around. <laughs> I gotta actually remember to use one of my health stims too, because I keep forgetting I'm on one hit. <laughs> oh my god. Saw the stream notification and gloomed immediately? Well, you gloomed on like a 35 minute delay, but you know. I'll forgive it. Gloonwood. Okay, this is the last time I'm opening this fucking safe. Actually, I'd hate for that to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> I was walking in the store with gloom all over. Oh, I'm glooming. Oh, I'm glooming. <laughs> okay. Now here's what we do. We're back down here. Right? You see, this is what I should have done those last four times. But I didn't. We're saving. Never open in that shit again. Man, I forget how small the inventory is in this game. And this is why I say we probably won't get to new content today, because I have a, uh, I have a tendency to be very, very silly. We don't need to read the prisoner log. Though, what's this? I love immersive sims, though, because they let me be silly. This doesn't really feel like a great way to, to go. Did they rework the lighting because it looks real good? I honestly think it's just that I cranked up the brightness. But I could be wrong. Maybe they did. It does kind of feel like the game is overall less dark, but the shadows are cleaner. Like, it's easier to tell when you'll be like fully in the shadows. So maybe they did. It's possible. They re reworked it this like update. Okay. Update. Where, what is this guy's... Patrol route. Does he come over here? Yes, he does. Oh, fuck. Oh, he doesn't come all the way over here. Wait, is he going to turn around? And then I might have an opportunity. Okay, that 
is what we call progress. It only took me like 30 minutes of faffing about. Is that the place with the secret gun? I, I don't know what place you're talking about. I guess. I, I just started the game over, so I'm I'm at the very beginning again. Sort of curious what this guy's patrol route is. Okay, he goes into the the boat garage there. There's a guy in here, isn't there? No? I could have swore I heard someone going up those stairs. Okay, I should be able to do something about you when you come back around. Quick peek. Goes into the garage. Got his key. Bye bye. Oh, nice. Neat. <laughs> That's totally what I wanted to do. Thank you, Gabe. Um, what we could do is some good old-fashioned barrel stacking. Barrel. Box should do it. Get me up there. What am I hearing? Is that just like the docks creaking? Ammo there. Where is everyone? <laughs> Gotta freaking be out a little bit. Subscribe to Yo. Dumper Man. Clintal Mushu Lurk. <laughs> uh Pillow, thank you for the 17 months. It's good to see ya. We out here gloomin'. Let's see, if I, like, drop down on the other pipe, will I avoid... <laughs> ...disaster? Sure will. Alright, time to save. I actually don't know how punishing fall damage is in this game. I assume there is fall damage, however. I can't re quite remember, but... ...it sounds right. So there was a 1.8 gig update, need to do a new run? That's exactly what I'm doing. I, I'm actually even a few updates behind, so... I'm having a lot of fun, though. This game is just a blast every time I, I come back, so... And it's been a while since I've done some of the early game stuff. Um, like the- like the Goatman, I literally haven't done the Goatman, uh, since... Since it released, and uh, apparently that's had some changes. What's new in this update? I have not gloomed my wood. Well, nothing you're seeing is new. At least not, like, totally new. But there's a new area later in the game that I hope to, uh, to get to eventually. There's actually a few new areas, at least areas that are new to me that I haven't seen. Ooh, open this gate. Good, we got shortcut. I honestly forget how, like, honestly, Souls-like, um, the, uh, the progression is in this game, the level of progression. How far into dev is this game currently? I'm actually not sure. Um, maybe, like, halfway? 
halfway to being like content complete. The game is pretty polished, like feature-wise. Like it's not, it's not buggy. I mean, it's not particularly buggy. It's still an early access game, but great. No, that was great. Wouldn't say half. I'm ballparking. I think, though, like, if you're talking about, like, features or content, I think that's a different conversation. Like, in terms of, like, the game already has, like, a full, like, robust set of features. Uh, it's more just that areas and content are still being developed. So the game is probably more than halfway done, but in terms of, like, from early access to full release, yeah, it's maybe less than halfway. I mean, it's a- it's a complex game, though. Where does this go? Oh, it leads down here. I don't think I want to be down here. Excuse me! <laughs> but yeah, the- the city area is gonna be huge, from my understanding. And there's quite a few areas left to, uh... That opening is for speed strats. I guess, yeah, I suppose you could just climb up there. No, this is definitely, like, listen, as much... As much as I love this game, um, and I have a lot of fun every time I come back to it, especially when I start a new save. This is the kind of game where, unless you're, like, very interested in it, I would recommend just waiting. Let's see some bottle strats here. Thread the needle. No? Where did he go? Oh fuck, he's over there, isn't he? Two of them? Yep, it was nothing. Where did these get- where are these guys going? Motherfucker. up immediately. I'd take him to the corpse pile, but we don't have time for that. Yeah, to my understanding, Dylan has been working on this game for a long time. I don't remember really when it got picked up by New Blood. I probably was not oh, even aware of New Blood at the time. Inventory's full. Well, I don't want it anyways, bruh. Yeah, I mean, it, it goes without saying that making this type of game normally requires, like, big teams. And it even takes big teams a lot of time. Can you just drop? I don't want to hold you. Okay. Demo dropped in 2020. Yeah, that's when I played it. Or no, I played it in 2021. I played Gloomwood and Fallen Aces for the first time in the same night, and then I made a video on them. So I assume I played both games around when the Fallen Aces demo dropped, which I think was like October of 2021, something like that. Yeah, I mean, truth be told, I don't know how many people are actually working on this game now. 
But it's mainly Dylan, as far as I understand. Bro, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! No, fuck off! <laughs> there's a team- yeah, there's- New Blood, as far as I understand, it has like floaters that work on like multiple games. Which is cool. <clears throat> I wish, and I say this with absolutely no offense intended to anyone, I wish that the success of this game... Well, allow me to rephrase that. Um, I wish that New Blood's popularity that has come mainly from Ultra Kill had... has disseminated more to people enjoying a larger variety of output from them. Like, definitely Gloomwood is, like, probably more popular than it would be, um, because it's a New Blood game. But what's interesting is that I feel like there are a certain subsect of people that are only interested in this game because it's a New Blood game. Um, and I wish that, in general, it had translated to more interest in immersive sim as a genre. I haven't really seen that manifest, though. Maybe with time. I guess it was just a big surprise to me when I discovered Ultra Kill that the types of people that are into and playing that game are just different than I thought. I thought it was more people that would be into like, you know, boomer shooters and old like immersive sims and stuff, but the reality is it's it's kids. <laughs> Dave yelling about it on Twitter is definitely a big part of it. Yeah, for sure. New Blood, uh... It was something I realized when they picked up Blood West. Because I played Blood West in the past. Um... And enjoyed it. But it's definitely, like... It's a little more, like, niche of a game. Uh... But Hyper Strange, like... Again, no, no offense intended to anyone. It doesn't feel like they really, like, promoted that game as well as they could have. So when New Blood picked it up, all of a sudden there was, like, all this rekindled interest in, uh, in Blood West. The game didn't really change, though. I mean, it's the same game. It just got more people's eyes on it. Uh, and it made me realize how much better New Blood is at marketing than, like, just anyone else in, in the space. I guess maybe what I'm- what I'm actually lamenting here is that people don't have, like, more initiative when it comes to checking out games, right? Like, it, you have to- I even see it in, like, the comment sections of my videos where I cover indie games. Like, so much skepticism about games that I- I will sit there and make a 30-minute video on telling you how good they are. And people will still be like, nah, look shit. <laughs> like, it- it blows my mind that people still think that way. Um... Like after how many just great indie games there are out there. But I don't know, people are- people are lazy. Like, they don't wanna... just try for themselves. I guess the truth is people have finite amount of time and money, too, to devote to gaming as a hobby. I mean, that's true of me, too, but I also, like, kind of... have to do this as a job, so... I view it as just, like, an expense to buy games. <laughs> and even still, I get a good amount of games, uh, more or less for free, just sent to me by devs. How Deus Ex 1 is Gloomwood? Not, I, not very, I would say. I mean... Only to the extent that any immersive sim is really very similar to Deus Ex. Really? Gloomwood, as I understand, is way more thief. More thief, more maybe dishonored without powers. 
Oh, right. These guys are alive. I should save. Let's just go knock that out. I'm hearing the new Indiana Jones game is an immersive sim. Which, hell yeah. Or it's immersive sim-like. Fallen Aces is more like Dishonored. I would agree with that. Gloomwood is more like Thief. Yeah. I I'm just like... I'm trying to find comparisons that most people would know. And I definitely think there's at least a bit of Dishonored in, uh, in Gloomwood. Okay, I, I don't remember how I timed this with these guys. Didn't Fallen Aces also get an update? They were teasing an update, but I'm not sure it's happened yet. Did it come out? Damn, I, I must have missed that. Did that come out while I was on vacation? What? Another one coming. Um, okay, the one guy's just patrolling. Oh, this kind of sucks. Quite a situation I've gotten myself into. Okay, the other guy's over there. Pity. Yeah, I, I need to play Thief as well. Oh shit, that guy went back to just like staring at the wall over there. I think I might be able to sneak up on him in the darkness though. While no one's here. Holster me. Right, I forget holstering drops you. Oh yeah, I don't- I don't think- even Thief fans don't regard the new one very highly. So it's not- it's definitely not just you. I don't want to back up into the light. Can I get you over here? Come check it out! Damn, they're not stupid enough. Shit, he's all the way over there. Ugh, what are you doing? What is that? Oh, is he going in? Oh, he's going in. Wait, this is good for me. Don't you wanna go home? <laughs> nice! He did my work for me! <laughs> Are these the lights? Oh, it's the gate. You definitely want to open these. Oh, yeah. I haven't played Filcher. I've heard good things, though. Okay, the gate is open. Huge. Which thief is the good one? I think uh, 1, 2, and 3 are all pretty highly regarded. I've heard a lot of people say two's the best, though. Save me. I keep hold it. I trying to hold F to holster my sword because that's what it is in Dishonored. <laughs> is there anything else to find in here? Just a book. Book. Deadly Shadows isn't as good, but it's still good. Yeah, but like, compared to Thief 4, it's it's still highly regarded. At least as far as I understand. I really want to blow this guy up. Oh, it's such a loud material. It smells loud in here. Blah. What's my health at? Caution. Here's what we should do. 
Set it down gently. Oh, I can't, I can't pick it up. <laughs> no. Dude, I thought I could set it on fire, pick it up, and then throw it. Uh, I fucked around and I found out. <laughs> that is, you cannot do that. For once, the immersive sim said no. <laughs> Let's see. At least I've got, like, all my progress here. Here's what we do. Put it right here. That guy is giga dead. Oh no, oh no, oh no, okay. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, you can do almost anything you want unless you're dumb. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the real problem is I'm dumb. I'm stupid. <laughs> this game is so fun. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think we're... I don't think we're doing barrel strats. Sad day, but... Oh, well. Kind of, like... Really wondering what I even do about this guy. I mean, I guess I could just go up and stab him, right? Like, he just is staring at a box for some reason. Did not mean to do that. Let's just put you in the thief deadly shadows. Shadows? Possible thief reference? Now, this guy's the one... Your go live notification was terrible, thank you. And yet, here you are. Probably need to move this a little closer. He doesn't see me yet. How deadly are these shadows? Well, that guy was dead. Shit. I gotta just... We're not touching the barrel anymore, okay? <laughs> no more barrel. Uh, no more barrel. No more barrel, I say, as I probably will do something with the barrel again. Yeah, I apologize to anyone who was hoping to see new content today. Do not the barrel. I will try. It, it's really hard, though. So many deadly shadows in this dark project. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta work. You gotta work thief forward there. I will be a thief for life. Shh, you motherfucker. Running low on bottle. Is he coming? Oh, yes. <laughs> no, he's alive. Sketchy, it's sketchy. Come out, come out. Oh, fuck, dude, there's so many. Where did all of you come from? This building was like empty. Right through my grass. I, I tried to check my ammo. I cannot see how much is in there. Pity.
Is it just you? Mm, just don't look this way. Or do, you know? Actually, wait, do. Yeah, it's fine. Here's the thing, though. Okay, it was just him. Yep. Into the deadly shadows you go. <laughs> Can I get up here? Maybe if I have a barrel, perhaps. If only I had a barrel. I can't pick up these boxes. <laughs> I'd send this user to the deadly shadows. Real talk. Uh, when my parents' dog is being bad, uh, they- they put him in the bathroom. Like, they just put him in there, so he can't, like, pester people. Just for a little bit, just till he calms down. But my dad calls it sending him to the dark place. <laughs> and, like, he knows the word dark place now, so my dad will be like, Is it time to go to the dark place? And he'll, like, sulk off into the bathroom. It's so funny. <laughs> The first time that happened, I was like, I was like, you're actually banishing him to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay, we have a barrel. I don't really know what I'm hoping to accomplish by getting up there, though. These are the kind of experimentations we do. Carrot ass dog. Yeah, that dog is slowly becoming, uh, I don't know, like a master assassin or thief or something. Some kind of thief. Some kind of thief, the dark project. <laughs> I can't get it up there. The doctor didn't do his fucking arm curls or whatever. It's not a real IMSIM unless you can stack boxes to access ventilation systems. See, that's what I'm saying. Let's get a book. Surely I can just throw a book and you'll respond somehow. Uh oh, that didn't go as far as I would have liked. He also did not notice. Do I have like another can of beans or something? I'm like running low on things that I can throw. I'm gonna need to loot more. Who made that noise? Who made that noise? This is dangerous. Might get caught. I'm gonna just actually go in here. You cannot hide for long. <laughs> I'm just actually gonna slip past him. And this leads back down to here. Another loop back to here. Is there anything over here? No. Okay, so here's the thing. Oh, you're still patrolling? Why? Shit. Pity. Come on, any second now. And he turned around. Appears to have been nothing. How the fuck? <laughs> No, nothing. Just a little bit further. <laughs> God damn it. The fact that that worked is so stupid. Oh, well, take my can back. Yes, we can. Yes. Yes, they do. 
Your eyes do deceive you often. Must have been the wind, right? Say the line, say the funny line. And back down. Woo, okay. <laughs> All good, all good. Where did those bottles go? <laughs> That's not what I intended to do. I was actually just trying to stock up on bottles. The most important item in all of immersive sims. <sighs> I must not rest until this place is entirely clear of, uh, of Huntsman. Like this ammo too. Almost forgot I didn't have that yet. What next? I believe I can get up to the roof. You don't have anything, right? Here's some bullets. A shoe? Epic. Um, let's make sure this is as loaded as it can be. Very nice. This guy up here gonna see me. Oh, he moved. Actually, yeah, where did he go? It appears to have been nothing. <laughs> Tim's, yeah, I got the Tim's. Doctor got that shit on. <laughs> Fucker. Huge. Pick him up. Pick him up. There's a guy right out there. At least I thought I saw one. Yeah, okay, that guy. I think what I actually was seeing was the lighthouse. <laughs> Funny enough. Ten best ways to gloom. Number four <laughs> will shock you. Shocking indeed. What's up, Blue Knight? Let's see, I can I can get this bozo. <laughs> oh, he didn't fall very far. Dude, okay. Are these air conditioning units? <laughs> Ye old air conditioning units. She gloomed my wood till I immerse my sim. Yikes. Dude, I don't know. Does anyone in chat know Sugar Pine 7? If not, what I'm about to say will uh will make no sense. To most of you. Who? Sugar Pine 7? It is a now defunct YouTube channel. Who? What? Whom? Okay. Well, there was an episode of that where one of the guy's fish died. And they, like, they put him in, like, a bag. Like, you know, with water in it. Uh, the dead fish. And they went out to, like, a bridge. Like, they lived in LA. And they went out to this bridge over, like, the LA River. <laughs> and he, go he goes and he says this whole eulogy for his fish. 
and then he drops it, <laughs> and instead of falling into the water, it just hits like a concrete, uh, like footing, <laughs> and just splats. I don't know why, it's like, what it lives rent free in my head, it's just one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> he like, he says this whole eulogy and then he just goes, oh, come on, man. <laughs> it's just, it's just like, just well, chef's kiss comedic timing. It's just the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> ah, love Sugar Pine 7. I don't actually know how I'm going to deal with these guys over here. Oh shit, I wanted to hear that. Didn't the fish just straight up explode? I don't know about the fish, but the bag explodes, yeah. Dude, I will never understand why they patrol like the same like five square feet. Surely eventually I get an opportunity to... I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck! <laughs> uh, he turned around just- I mean, that was ill-advised anyways, but he turned around at the worst possible time. <laughs> Have you met real security? People are lazy as fuck. Yeah, and all these guys got the fucking plague, too. That's true. You make a good point. This guy's dead on this save, right? I have a few things to pick up here, including the Tim. Singular Tim. Yeah, that guy's gonna come down. Oh, you know what I really like here? You raise that up and you can actually jump up there. Tim the Tap Man. Dude, I saw, uh, I think it was one of my friends posted Tim Walls. It was just Tim Walls wearing Tibbs. That was it. Photoshopped to be wearing Tibbs. This is the pinnacle of humor. Tim got that shit on. <laughs> I don't know why that... That, like, beam format is so funny to me. Like, the Sonic got that shit on. I think it's just the, the phrasing that's funny. But it is funny. I didn't realize you could sneak standing up in this game until literally today. Oh, this is how you get up here. There's just nothing up here. I guess it's nice if you want to, like, drop assassinate those guys. Okay, well now we should be able to pretty safely get up here. What was that noise? Oh shit, come on, just keep walking. Keep walking. No! He didn't see me. <laughs> How the fuck did he not see me? <laughs> he didn't fucking see me, bro. <laughs> you guys really need a cough drop? Alright, let's try that again. Run it back. <laughs> you can't possibly go wrong twice. Gah! Go! Is he gonna come all the way up and around? You cannot hide for long. Because I can I can take a different approach. <laughs> Slipped right through my grass. 
I missed if this was a midday stream. Yeah, I got something going on tonight, so. We will be glooming for a good four hours or so, though. Alright. What's going on inside this guy's head? Surely you mean me and not the, the huntsman, right? <laughs> I forgot that that would happen. Let's... Is it possible for me to, like, isolate one of you? You guys are giving me some trouble. Gah! Yes, leak some details. Okay, now they're both patrolling. That's not good. Decidedly not what we want. Okay, they're actually splitting up this time, though. The thing is, though, I, I really cannot move from this position without being in big trouble. Okay, only one of them's patrolling now. Uh, the only problem is he's patrolling my way. Frank Sinatra, my way, as performed by Gloomwood Huntsman. <laughs> oh shit, he went all the way down. <laughs> do I have the rooftop key? I think I do. Right, that's a journal. Yes, I do. Okay, <laughs> I didn't need that. Good. Gotta hurry up if you want to get there in time. I- I won't. I actually won't. Um, this is just officially a new, like, full Gloomwood playthrough at this point. And I don't even care because I'm having a blast. Turns out, this game, it's just good. I like it. What the fuck? What did you hear? I think I stepped on the metal for, like, half a second. Yeah, I'm playing on full moon. They don't really respond well to noises from like, just like the physics prop objects. Like they're pretty responsive to like cans and bottles and stuff, but when you throw like a barrel or something, they don't really do much. I just drop down. Full Moon is the hardest one that's not Blood Moon. Right? Making right a new first person shooter, it's called Final Absolution. It's sort of an F you to my publisher for taking advantage of a quirk in our contract to basically pay me nothing for Beyond Sunset. Yeah, stick it to him. Hell yeah. I'll be excited to play it. Did you go back? You did go back. Okay, here's the thing though. Much better. Okay, we got an ammo crate up here. I don't actually remember... I don't, you know, I don't think I've ever found the key for that. I don't remember where it is, or where it supposedly is. Crescent half full in blood, yeah. I, I will do a blood moon run someday, but I feel like... Uh, full moon just feels a little, like, less restrictive or something. Oh, interesting. Is there actually anything on these rafters? That went down a little farther than I hoped. There is not anything on the rafters. <sighs> Scaling that shit. I don't know, I like Blood Moon. I mean, like, I said I'll play it, right? I feel like high difficulties in immersive sims are usually not good. Um, and I feel like this game definitely has like a more interesting approach. Uh, but in terms of just like a casual playthrough, I'm more interested in... Uh, in just having fun than I am 
in uh, really testing my skills and knowledge and whatever else. All right, I think this building is just about clear of Huntsman. And if it's not, I'd be shocked. Would have played the new stuff on Blood Moon if I didn't start that playthrough at 1am. Yeah, but you're not. You're not normal. <laughs> you're not the, uh... You're not who Full Moon is balanced for. Is Crisis 1 an immersive sim? No. <laughs> I don't think so. Did I pick up this ammo and then die? Because I feel like I've picked up this ammo like four times. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Let's actually load the gun. I think Blood Moon is something that I will have fun doing a full run on when the game is complete. But for now, I'm down with Full Moon. It lets me be silly, but sometimes I die for being too silly. Crisis 1 is not an immersive sim in the same sense that Halo Combat Evolved is not a boomer shooter. <laughs> it's close, but it's like, it's different enough. Crisis 1, I'm trying to think of like a good, like an apt comparison for Crisis 1. Do not have that key. Tactical stealth shooter. Yeah, am I crazy to say that Crisis 2 is a lot more fast-paced? I only played Crisis 1 and 2. It's been a long time, but... Man, I could just skip these guys for now. Maybe I will. Boom. Am I fully loaded? Crisis 2 is an entirely different game. Yeah, never has a more objectively true statement been made. <laughs> Moving away from the vibrant, cartoony, Mega Man X-inspired sprite work of Beyond Sunset towards a gritty, industrial look akin to Quake. That's a shame, because I think there are too many games that look like Quake and not enough games that look like, uh... Beyond Sunset. You know what? I'm going to try this. I don't think I've ever used that before. But I, I understand why you would do that as well. Yeah, I think there is an ocean of difference between, uh, immersive sim- wait. This room's clear, right? Yeah. Um, I think there's a, a ocean of difference between immersive sim elements and, like, actually being an immersive sim. Because, like, oh, there was this whole debate about if Zelda Tears of the Kingdom was an immersive sim. That game is not an immersive sim. I think it has some cool, like, emergent gameplay systems, but, like, uh, we would have to have the loosest definition of immersive sim of all time to call that game an immersive sim. Almost everything has one solution. And whenever there wasn't, uh, whenever there was more than one solution, the alternate solutions always felt unintended. That's actually one of my biggest gripes with that game. Was they made all these cool systems and then made the puzzles, like, so linear. <laughs> Right. We're supposed to hand him off to the spy master. That guy, he gives me the creeps. Okay, I'm worried I could that. drop assassinate the guy with the rifle. Oh, the other guy's walking away. Oh, now the rifle guy's walking away. <laughs> okay, but this might be my opportunity here. Crisis 1 is the only game that lets me put a sniper scope on a shotgun and make it actually be effective. Have you played Sulfur? 
You might enjoy sulfur. I'm not necessarily putting, uh, not necessarily saying putting a sniper scope on a shotgun is effective in that game, but it sure does let you do it. It lets you do all sorts of interesting stuff. And honestly, with enough different upgrades, because that, that game lets you put a ridiculous amount of upgrades on weapons, you could honestly conceivably turn a shotgun into a sort of sniper. This is where I want to be. Well, yeah, I mean, what is... What is an immersive sim if not just a collection of, of gameplay elements? And commonalities? What is a genre at that if not just a collection of elements that make something like another thing? Like enough another thing that you would compare them? Is this a pointless endeavor to define? Yes. But it raises an interesting question. Requesting into Greek philosophy. I don't think the Greeks discussed uh, video game labels. No, I'll be, uh, I'll be excited to play it. I, th I think I saw some screenshots that you shared of that. Um, and... I, I didn't know what it was at the time, but I was like, is this Beyond Sunset or is this something else? And now I have my answer. Shame what happened with Beyond Sunset, though, because I, uh... I really like that game. Um... Uh, What is this? Okay. No, that was there. Ow. Why well, I don't like when people try to put things in boxes like those things were ever naturally created with those boxes in mind. I mean, video games surely to some extent are... I mean, it, it, I get what you're saying, but like, I think it's naive to think that things aren't made with, with the boxes in mind, right? No, I, I definitely understand your your frustrations with uh, with Beyond Sunset. I mean, you, you've you've explained a bit of it to me, <laughs> and I think I get the gist. It's a shame, but uh, yeah. I mean, what can you do? I guess can't turn back time. This guy's gonna see me. Why am I in the light here? Okay, when this guy turns around, I'm going after him. Some games are, but I'm more talking about things like brain stuff. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Like, humans are pattern seekers, right? Like, I, I think it's easy to just... to tell someone... This thing is like that other thing than it is to, like, explain all of the individual merits of the one thing, even though that might be, like, more valuable. I think it's a lot easier to just be like, this thing is kind of like that other thing, therefore you might like it. I want to save. Is there one in here? There is one in here. No key, though. Shit, did that guy have the key? I think I can bust in the back, can I? Yeah. Ugh! I forgot there was a guy in there. Is it the only what other way in? Barrel? No, 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 wait a second. It's not over until we've exhausted the barrel strats. Can I get in through the roof? Oh, is he coming out? Ain't no way he knows how to climb barrels. <laughs> come out, come out. He's like over here, isn't he? He did open the door for us.
<laughs> oh wait, you got a key. I want that. I guess I don't really need it now that you've opened the door for me, but... I hope New Blood launches the Gloom Beam Coin. Yeah, a good a good rug pull really uh, ought to be good marketing for this game. You know, everyone's talking about Hawk Tua. What's a way to get people talking about your company? It's to launch a scam cryptocurrency. <laughs> Ain't no better way. Bottos. Hmm. Don't have room. Too many bottles. I should probably get rid of the Tim. Sorry. The doctor will not have that shit on. I could also just eat the apple. Broomstick handle. Coins. Uh, no real need to go down there yet, right? I actually can't remember if there's anything down here for me now. Not immersive sim, but Mirror's Edge did this great. Wait, enemies being able to do the same navigation as you? Yeah, I think that's really hard to program, especially in a game- I guess I can pick this up. Especially in a game with, like, uh, you know, movable physics objects. Like, I think getting enemies to pathfind over that stuff is pretty tough. And that's something that Mirror's Edge doesn't really have, that this game does have. Can you get some fire bullets here? Maybe on the other side of that door? Because otherwise I don't, I don't think there are any. I remember you can loop back here from the, from the caves. Yeah, I remember having a hell of a time jumping off of this. <laughs> there we go, okay. We're fine, we're fine. Never worried. Is there anything over here? It's ammo. Oh no, it's health. Oh, nice. Keep the gun there. Oh, there are fire bullets in the in the fire. We just don't have the we don't have the gun yet. We don't have the thing with which we could fire it. Just tap that save one more time. A uh, quick little. See ya. It's the only part where you actually feel in danger. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I mean, Mirror's Edge is a cool game. It's also not my favorite game ever. <laughs> uh, I think it had really cool movement, but there was a lot of things that it did that it did not like necessarily feel like we're as, as well thought out. It's almost, it almost becomes like a puzzle game. But I feel like it could have been more. I don't know. Mirror's Edge is an extremely flawed game that I really love. You mean the guns? Well... No, I mean, I don't actually know if I consider the guns a flaw. Um... Like having gunfights in a parkour game? No, I don't th I actually think there's anything wrong with that. We do not talk about the sequel? We talked about the sequel last night on stream, and a few people in chat said they liked it. Which I was surprised by, because I thought it was not well received. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to put it into words, but... I think... My issue with Mirror's Edge is not that any one thing was, like, super, like, underbaked, but that the the systems kind of felt like they existed apart from each other. Does that make sense? You know, the gunfights, the parkour, all that, like, hmm. they all kind of, like, coexisted in a way that, like, didn't really do it for me. Like, they weren't, like, woven together neatly. They were kind of just there. Does that make sense? You pick it up what I'm putting down? The C 
sequel made the issues worse. Yeah, that, that's a shame. Hmm. Inventory's full. It's just a bullet. Uh, I mean, I guess I could... Okay, I guess I don't need five bottles. What's <laughs> my health at? Caution. We exist in a permanent state of caution, really. Oh, this is the way it's blocked from. Hit the phonograph. There's some apples here. I can fit one... No, I can fit two apples! Wow, maybe we can get... Maybe we can get up to, uh... Full health. Still caution. I don't know how much the, like, foods heal. Um, okay, I need to turn the power off, is what I need to do. Mass Effect 1 li Mass Effect 1. Mirror's Edge 1, dude. They, they, those games cannot have the same acronym. Legally, you're not allowed to have the same acronym. Uh, what do I need for this? Lives and dies by momentum and the guns completely kill momentum. Yeah. I guess you're right, but I don't know. There, there's games like, uh, like Severed Steel proved that it could be done. So it's definitely not just the presence of guns that is an issue. I just think they're not integrated into the gameplay in, in such a way that makes them... That makes the game more fun. It instead just makes it more tedious. Dogs are loose again. I certainly know how locks work, and I assume you know how locks work, so my guess is that Hobbs is the one who keeps leaving the kennels unlocked. Not a surprise, really. I closed off the entrance to the kennels and electrified it because Hobbs was in charge of feeding them this week, so I assume they have not been fed and would be all too happy to gnaw on whatever face pokes into their new little subterranean dog paradise. If you need to get into the kennels, well, first, pray. Then you'll have to turn off the generator. I locked the generator room and left the key in the breaker room down the tunnel. I figured locking it should uh, keep Hobbs from going in and relieving himself in the fuel tank or anything like that. Wait, sorry. Uh, locked the generator room and left the key in the break room down the tunnel. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna gloom all over this skibbity toilet giat in the Ohio Riz. Why are you, why are you a mod? <laughs> I forget why I made you a mod again. <laughs> Cheese wheel will be useful for the dogs. Is this the break room? I don't see a key. There's the gate. I'm only my mod because I'm here 24 seven. No one likes me. It's a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy when you say shit like that. But yes, you are correct. Where is that key at? I feel like I was in the right spot. Do caves have rooms? I feel like they have chambers. Wouldn't exactly call this a room. Is this not... It looks like where someone would take a break, have a drink, eat some cheese. But apparently not. I've done this before and I don't even remember. I kind of like... I don't really like this segment, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so I kind of just black it out every time I, uh, every time I do it. This just goes back to the entrance, doesn't it? It's back to the fishery. I have this problem with a lot of, like, segments that I don't really like in games that I otherwise do like. Is that I just will, like... It, like, the Irithyll dungeon in Dark Souls 3. Like, I forget that that place exists until I, I get back to it, and I'm like, Oh, holy fuck, I have no idea how to get through this. <laughs> okay. Down the hallway. This is down. Irithyll dungeon is... So ass, bro. It's, it's the only part of that game that I legitimately hate. <laughs> but then I can't I can't get in here, so it's not that. 
They should make a game that does the things I like and none of the things I don't like. Oh, the key was right there. What the fuck? This is the break room? What kind of breaks you have in here? It's more like a goon cave. Jailer enemy sucks ass though, you're right. Yeah, and just the navigation sucks. And like at that point in the game, I'm just tired of like... Um, navigating like, you know, cata like copy paste catacombs like... Dark Souls 3, I feel like the areas in Dark Souls 3 are actually underrated. Like, pe people act like they're so bad. But I feel like there is some great ones, and most of them are at least good. Uh, maybe not none quite as memorable as the best of, like, Dark Souls 1 and Bloodborne, but, like, still some good ones. Um, but the that and the catacombs are, like... They're, they're mind-numbing, bro. Just, like, the amount of, like, hallways that look the same. Oh, and the demon ruins. I honestly forget about the demon ruins because I choose to just not do it. Okay, I want this cheese. Let's get this cheddar. Uh, how would I go about getting this cheddar? <laughs> um, I never did demon ruins. You're like literally not missing anything. There's some, like, pyromancies down there. So, so if you weren't doing pyromancies, you missed actually nothing. Yeah, Dark Souls 3 doesn't have the highs of Dark Souls 1, but it also doesn't have the lows of the entire second half of Dark Souls 1. I would agree with that, but mainly in the areas. I think the bosses are, are pretty consistently good in Dark Souls 3, which is impressive, because I don't think any of the other games have that same claim. Alright, let's save quick. Because I know this is going to come back to bite me. There's only a handful of bosses I hate in Dark Souls 3. I'm trying to think of the bosses that I genuinely hate in Dark Souls 3. And I'm kind of coming up blank. Like, even like, I think like, Deacons of the Deep, not very good. Do I hate Deacons of the Deep though? Nah. It's just easy. This is kind of bad. Like... Oh, fuck off. The library up to and including the Twin Princes is maybe the best in the entire series. Yeah, I would extend that to all of Lothric Castle. I think Lothric Castle is a fantastic area. All right, Hand Lantern. We're good for now. I seem to remember no dogs in this first stretch, except for the one that I just killed. Hating Twin Princes is kind of crazy. I feel like Twin Princes is like... I, I, some people are like, Twin Princes is the best. And I, I don't agree with that. But you might be the only person I've ever met who hates Twin Princes. Twin Princes is really difficult? I don't even think Twin Princes is that difficult. I can see why someone would struggle with it, but I'm like, it's definitely easier than pretty much any boss in the DLC except for the meme ones. I just hated the teleporting. The trick to the teleporting is you just you you just watch like what he's doing before he teleports, and he telegraphs the attack like before he even teleports. The only ones that are kind of annoying are the ones that lock you off, but those ones have like a million year long wind up. <laughs> I need to put some stinky, stinky cheese down for these dogs. I get that, but it was just really annoying. Get that cheese, motherfucker. Get that cheddar. Oh. Oh, he's actually eating the head. Did they make these dogs easier? I feel like they did. The ones with the one quintillion years of windup just kept fucking me over super hard. It, it gets kind of a weird hitbox when Lothric joins in. But I don't know. I, I think that one is fine for the most part. It killed me a few times on soul level one because I just couldn't, I couldn't tank anything. 
Can I interest you in a Starbucks holiday drink? I need a pick me up. I would I would fuck up a, a matcha latte. I don't think I need more coffee today. Get the head, dipshit. Oh fuck off. Eat the cheese, doggos. Huge booch appearance. The legend herself. Do they not eat cheese? Do they only like flesh? I feel like they made these dogs way easier to fight. They used to absolutely destroy me. There's one million coffee joints, but where are the tea houses? Uh, I feel like those are a thing. Like, like boba. You can go get boba. I don't really like boba, though. It's honestly just the balls that freak me out. <laughs> Which, yes, I'm aware of the implications of what I just said. Is this the shortcut? I think it is. You hate balls? Shocker. Yeah, I don't drink balls. That's gay. Wait, how do I unlock this one? Like, I have the key, but... This is not the shortcut. Okay. The only blalls I tolerate are my own blalls. <laughs> Local dumpster guy caught being homophobic. Okay, at least they still die in one hit. But I 100% bet there's some freedom-loving, red-blooded, god-fearing father of nine that genuinely refuses to drink boba because he thinks it's gay. <laughs> you... I, I bet you're right, but it's probably not uh, because he thinks it's gay. It's probably just because he's a raging racist and hates anything from a culture other than his own, which, shocker, turns out is just an amalgamation of other cultures. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I don't hate Boba because I'm- I'm homophobic. I hate Boba because I'm racist. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Oh, ow, 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 die, 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 die. <laughs> so much better. Yeah, I just thought I'd clarify that real quick. Yeah, in case you were wondering. So here's the thing, when I get the shortcut back up, I feel like I can just... Uh... I can just turn the power on, right? Because I don't need to use the shock door. So racist, I refuse to drink coffee black. Actually, unironically... I basically only drink black coffee these days. I used to put like cream and sugar and stuff in my coffee, but then I I started doing like uh, intermittent fasting, so I can drink coffee in the morning, but I can't like have calories obviously, so I can only drink black coffee. But honestly, at this point, I've just gaslit myself into liking black coffee, and I'm kind of like, it's sort of pointless to, to put anything in your coffee. It's like, just drinking your calories, to whatever extent you can avoid drinking your calories, is probably good. Damn, have they changed this area? It feels very different. But maybe I just, again, yet again, like I said, um, just blacked it out. Don't remember. I think all the dogs are dead. Famous last words, though, p potentially. This loops back down here. 
Oh, that's just sleepy. Sleepy dog. Eepy doggo. Now you're dead. Sorry. I did not let sleeping dogs lie. Oh, what the fuck? Swimming segment? I've reduced my soda consumption by like 50%, but- Oh, shortcut! That's cool. Reduce my soda consumption by like 50% by just drinking ice cold water. Water is like unironically so good. Sound. I am a certified hydro homie. Honestly, if you're trying to kick a soda habit, the best thing you can do, in my opinion, is uh, like get used to drinking like sparkling water. There's some seriously good ones out there. Oh, what is this? Explosives? Oh, fuck. Explosives. Do my eyes deceive me? Yes, they do. Ninety-three percent of Twitch viewers aren't drinking enough water right now. Probably true of Twitch streamers as well. What are you hoping to do? Can I just... <laughs> Drink maybe a can or two of soda every week. Yeah, I mean, like... Listen, if you enjoy it... Any- anything is okay in moderation. I mean, really though, I'm just not gonna tell you how to live your life. Dude, I'm going back so far. I should've just gone for the, uh... <laughs> I should've just gone for the shortcut. Fuck, dude, that sucks. I'm going back so far. Like, this is before I did any of that stuff in the cave. Damn it. Uh, I mean, deserved though. I should have just gone for the shortcut. I'm awake and late. You get to watch me repeat the entire cave segment. I may as well have just re rewinded time 15 minutes. I had four beers earlier, so really glasses, uh... You mean stones and glass houses? Yeah. Also, what I'm doing tonight, I didn't mention this. I, I just said I was streaming during the day because I'm busy tonight. What I'm doing tonight is playing Rainbow Six Siege with my friends and drinking a lot of beer. So I'm also one to talk. <laughs> Could probably use a little pick-me-up here. In fairness, beer is great. I agree. I'm a beer enjoyer. I know, very brave of me. Where does the, the dog that runs off, where does he go? Grab some ab apples, abdals. Really want to try a gonster? I don't know what that is. Can he do the shortcut without using objects? Wait, what shortcut? I know of two shortcuts here. But neither one of them, to my knowledge, requires objects. Wait, are you talking about the get the cursed Guinness and monster? Oh, I was like, where did he go? Jesus. Yeah, wait, no, that you're you're joking, right? Like this is a meme. I don't believe that you actually want to try that. Where is the dog? I hear him. What is the dog doing? Oh, he's gorging. The foul beast consumes his wretched meal. Dude, I'm fucking... 
I, I just want to be done with this. This is the worst section in the fucking game. <laughs> so far. So far, but, uh... I gotta say, th this part is not fun. <laughs> Throwing and no one even gave you subs. I, I don't know. I don't know how that was throwing, but okay. Dude, fucking die! I just want to be done with this. <laughs> this segment always sucks, dude. And I basically got through it, and I and then I just now I'm back here. I just didn't. Unlock the shortcut, which fucking blows. Okay, sure. And now I have an arm. Hmm. Inventory's full? I just want to pick it up. There we go. What? Why am I like, I'm holding it above my head. the fuck? Why do I hold that above my head? <laughs> okay. Okay. No. You know what? You're right. It's a leg. It's a leg. A certain kind of leg. It's a member. Mimba. Eat the hand, eat the hand, eat the hand, eat the hand. Holy fuck. I'm, d I'm dead again, bro. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> Why did I start from the beginning again? Aren't they supposed to go for the body parts? I haven't seen one do it once. No, this is, uh... This is the difficulty below, Blood Moon. And sometimes- I love when my sword swipes just don't hit, too. That, that's sweet. Again, I can't see. I can't see. Okay, he saw me for some reason. Now, oh, what a sweet enemy, dude. Fuck yeah. Can I cheese you somehow? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Danger. <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about, Dave, but that's just par for the course. Bato. Hmm. Wait, head? I 
Okay, you're eating. Oh, the other one that's normally over here ran to, to come get me. Come get it. Yummy, yummy head. Nope, just ignore it. That's cool. So I'm realizing they didn't make the dogs easier. I just got lucky. <laughs> the first time. Cane sword right up the ass, it happens. Happens to the best of us. Oh, he's dead, okay. <laughs> Just as the founding fathers intended, so true. So I could do this. <laughs> Trick shot. Alright, so we can swim through here. I think I need to get up over there. Which is a problem. I'd like a cane sword, but they're unfortunately highly illegal. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. I think I can off this guy. Yo! Thank you. I can't pick him up. I just got coffee. Well, I got tea. I got matcha. Yummy! Huge boot sighting, yes. Woman alert, woman on the stream. Oh, he saw the body, okay. Any chance you turn around? to see what uni was all about today i probably won't be around much next year dave no offense but you haven't been around much this year <laughs> at least not in the stream chat can i pick you up like are you gonna let me now okay but that's all right I tend to forget, uh, but I had like a period of time where I barely played any video games at all in, uh, in college. Like, I, I was super fucking busy myself.
Go investigate. Jesus Christ. I don't have anything to heal. Danger. Fuck! I can save at least now. Doing college and working right now? What the fuck is free time? Yeah, pretty much. Well, here's ammo. I'd love if I got health. These are unbreakable. All right, and we're back. I believe I could just turn the power on. Gonna work as a waiter in an a la carte restaurant soon? Hell yeah. Not looking forward. Okay, never mind. Did you already eat the cheese wheel? I did, yeah. More power! Most things beat fighting unemployment. Yeah. Oh, he's there. Is it just that one guy? This is new, eh? I think I think this like this little deal spiraling up the mountain here, or mountain, up the cave is new. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm playing through stuff that I've done before, but they have added a lot. Yeah, like later, later on, there'll be a lot of new stuff. Is this not new? I thought it was. I mean, I, I don't remember it at least. The last time I did like a full playthrough, um, I did kind of breeze through, though. Like, I did not do a lot of exploring. There's a way to get up without the elevator now? Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I'm looking at, right? Yeah, the, the crack area, I definitely don't remember seeing before. The crack area. I need something that can blow that up, which I don't have yet. Not that I'm aware of, at least. Okay, we could probably move on. Secret, yeah, I mean, I've seen it. I just don't have anything that can open it yet. You can do that now? Like, yeah, sure, I, I believe you. I just don't have anything that can blow it up. I can keep looking, but I'd rather not waste my time. But okay, we'll take a look. Is there anything like back, like way back? You tried bashing your head on it. Waste your time means longer stream for me. Unfortunately, on this day, it does not mean that. I am gonna have to end eventually. Although I'm around for another two hours or so, I'd say. Oh, this door's open anyways. I mean, I won't walk through it, but. No, no hints. Well, it's not here, at least. Like, I'm guessing there's a barrel. I just haven't seen one. None of these are explosive. How's this? Fully loaded. Cool. 
Let's try going up. I actually don't know how to get up to that, though. And then there's this as well. Which looks like it loops back to the cave. I bet I could open it. You know what? Yeah, I did I did kind of shave off part of the cave, didn't I? Maybe I go back into the cave area. I guess I'll have to swim in. That's probably the normal way in, huh? Let's drop down this way. Why do I feel like what you're saying is a reference to a certain game? <laughs> One of the only two games in existence. Mm, I need this, don't I? This is an immersive sim, there is no normal way? I mean, you're... Not technically incorrect. However... What do you mean there's more than two? I'm trying to think of what you could even be referring to. The fact that I have to strain to think of like what other game Dave might possibly be referring to tells me that there is not in fact more than two. Yeah, this area is pretty linear. That, that's why I'm kind of... on the prowl for something that I missed. This just goes back to the beginning, doesn't it? Oh, but apples, I could eat apples. Don't need the head. Okay, I think I'm gonna give up. I guess what I can do is I can take the elevator up and see if there's anything up there. Yeah, I just have the pistol. Isn't the- the next weapon is ahead, isn't it? Like, I haven't gotten to it yet? Or is there a way to get it early? I know there's the safe, but... Any new movement tech? That cannot be a serious question. <laughs> That's what I imagine, like, goes through the brains of the, uh... Of the people who bought this game because it was New Blood and then di didn't like it or refunded it because it's nothing like Ultra Kill. <laughs> You're talking about the safe? I thought that was up ahead. Maybe I'm misremembering where it is. Now this game has slow movement on purpose. <laughs> They should add fall clings and slams and maybe a style meter too. I kind of feel like a lot of games are adding style meters because of Ultra Kill. And when I don't think necessarily all of those same games benefit from having them. Yeah, the climbing c can definitely be ridiculous.
the children yearn for drop kicking. I mean, I am of the opinion that every, uh, every ultra or every ultra kill, every immersive sim, dude, I've got the brain rot too. Every immersive sim sim should have a uh, dark messiah like combat. That would be the ideal. Huh? 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 I have several questions. <laughs> Every immersive sim should let you eat organs? Well, that I agree with. He had protection? Did he? I didn't see it. I mean, I know about the... I know about the armor. I just didn't see that he had it. It didn't look like it to me. Oh, legs aren't an insta-kill? Interesting. Didn't know that. That's funny. They'll add locational damage to backstabs, but no headshots. Really makes you think. Oh, I see. There's a rope you can lower there. There are headshots? Wait, I thought there wasn't. There wasn't the last time I played. Oh, no. Uh... Does he have the armor? I actually can't tell. Yeah, maybe that is actually. They added it in this update. Ah, okay. So what if I... Oh my God, wait, that sound, that sound, I know that. <laughs> You're a headshotter in this backshot world. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> They have headshots, but what about back shots? Only with the, uh, only with the cane sword. They just stagger if you headshot. I mean, that's still a pretty good mechanic. At least it does something for headshotting. Alright, we make our way back down. Pick up a can. Because, of course, why not? We need things to throw. I can lower you, right? Oh, okay, there it is. Do you think I missed? Nope. For some reason, I thought I saw something up there. I'm not gonna lie, I have not seen anything explosive. So I'm guessing what you're referring to that could get me through this right now is the gun that I don't have. And and to be honest with you, I just can't seem to remember where it was. Oh, that's interesting. It's not. Then I, I just I just don't know. You missed a room repeatedly. Okay. <laughs> Watch me do it again. <laughs> Cause I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, all right. I could use a concussion TBH. So true.
We out this bitch.